select from the choices to correctly complete the comparison. 600, 91, and 5 hundredths is related how to 6 times 100 plus 9 times 10 plus 1 times 1 plus 8 times 1 thousandth. Is it A, greater than? Is it B, less than? Or is it C, equal to? Or is it D, cannot be determined? Well, first, let's start by writing both of these numbers in standard form. The first one is written out in words, and the second is written in expanded form. So let's convert them both to standard. We have 691 and, decimal point, 5 hundredths. Well, the hundredths place is the second to the right of the decimal point and there are five of them, so we need to place a zero in the tenths place. Now let's convert our bottom number from expanded form into standard form. We have six times 100, which is 600. We have nine times 10, which is 90, and we're adding one times one, which is one, and we're starting with fractions, that's why they go to the right of the decimal point. We only have eight times one thousandth. So you're gonna have eight thousandths, which is three places after the decimal point. And we just have an eight there. So we need to stick zeros in both the tenths and hundredths places. Now let's use our strategies to compare the numbers. Once we write them down with the decimals directly over top of one another, we need to add extra zeros in missing place values. The top one only goes to the hundredths, whereas the bottom goes to the thousandths. So we need to place a zero in the thousandths place of our top number. Now let's compare each digit one by one, column by column. We have 600 in both. So, so far they're equal. We have 90 in both. We have one in both. We have the decimal point in both. We have zero tenths in both. But when we look at the hundredths, we have five hundredths in our first number and we have zero in our second number. So therefore five is the bigger number with five hundredths. So it is greater than the second one which is answer choice A.